Your mantra for success? Uh, yeah, it's the one I said. It's uh, fall seven times, stand up eight. And it actually means, yeah, never give up. Even if you get, you get uh, knocked down, um, stand back up, uh, fight back, and then work harder to, to, to achieve success. Welcome to the Garimaftar Show. In today's episode, I have with me Alexander Hendricks, who is a Belgian field hockey player who currently plays as a defender for the Belgian national team and the Dutch club Pinoke in Amsterdam. Hendricks began his hockey career at a young age and quickly rose to become one of the best players in the country. Alexander Hendricks has achieved numerous accolades throughout his illustrious career in field hockey and he played a pivotal role in Belgium's historic victory at the 2018 World Cup, where he was the top scorer of the tournament with seven goals. In addition to winning the World Cup, he also helped Belgium win a gold medal at the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo and a gold medal at the 2019 European Championship. In all those tournaments, he was named top scorer. His success in the Dutch Hockey League is also noteworthy. Pinoke played their first ever playoffs last year and became runner-up in the competition. In 2021 and 2022, he was top scorer of the league. Thanks for joining me, Alexander. Such a pleasure to have you on my show. Thanks for having me. So, coming straight to the questions, what's been your journey like and what were the challenges you faced and what have been your learnings from your journey? Um, to be honest, it hasn't been an easy journey for me. Um, in the beginning of my career in the youth, I was already all, uh, all the time selected in the youth teams from Belgium. So there it went all good. But then there was a moment I arrived at the national team with the men. Um, and there I was not selected for every tournament. So sometimes I dropped out of selection. I selected I, and, and it went on and off, on and off. Um, till actually the moment uh, where I was reserved at the Rio Olympics in 2016. Uh, and that for me was mentally really tough because you want to play um, and, and you see your team win the silver medal. Um, and at that moment, I told myself, now I'm going to do everything I can to be selected every time, every tournament. So I started working harder, uh, training harder. Um, and I think now, yeah, I'm, I'm proving that, I, that I'm worthy to be in the team. That's awesome. That's wonderful. So what have been your learnings from the journey? The learnings for me is uh, yeah, never give up, actually. It's uh, also one of my uh, mottos. Uh, it's uh, fall seven times, stand up eight. Um, so yeah, it, it means yeah, every time you get injured or you get no, a non-selection, you cannot yeah, be sad about it too long, uh, too long for a time. Uh, and instead, you can try to work harder, try to turn it around and, and, and keep believing in yourself that you can make it. Super, super. So any incident in your life that has changed the way of your, you know, thinking, it has, um, you know, some any major changes that have happened um, because of any particular incident? Yeah, like I said, uh, for me, the major turning point was when I was reserved in, uh, in Rio in the 2016 Olympics. Um, because, yeah, you train with the team, you do everything with the team, but you're still not playing. And, and for me, the Olympics is, is a child's dream. Um, and at that time, I was really, yeah, it was really tough because other teams, um, they had injured players, so their reservists could play and our team didn't have any injuries, so we, the reservists didn't play. And after that, I saw them win, win the medal and yeah, I know, I remember like, yeah, it was really heavy. I, I was crying. Actually, I was happy for them, but I was also crying that I couldn't participate. And then there was one guy from the team that put his medal around my neck and said, yeah, this one's for you. It's also for the hard work. And then I told myself at that moment, like, okay, it's really nice from that guy, yeah. but I want to deserve the next medal myself. That's wonderful. I mean, um, so what's the best advice you've ever got? Yeah, I got a lot of really good advice from my, uh, from my father um, in the youth. He supported me or my parents supported me 
throughout my whole youth uh, and, and, and yeah, they supported me, they brought me to training and everything. But I think the best advice that I got was from uh, Shane McLeod, our coach in uh, yeah, during uh, several years where we won every tournament with. And I remember he told me uh, before uh, the Olympics, like I think one or two years before uh, the Tokyo Olympics, he told me, okay, don't be satisfied because yeah, I, I was in the team because I have a good drag flick. And he said like, don't be satisfied um, with only that. And don't be afraid of how good you can be. So that's got me thinking like, actually he's right. I shouldn't just have my selection ticket just because I score a lot of goals, but I also want to be one of the best players on the field for the team. And then I started working as well in that area and yeah, he helped me a lot. So that was uh, one of the best advices I could uh, get. That's brilliant. I mean, you have, uh, you know, you've been a game changer and uh, you actually uh, turned around uh, and uh, you became the top scorer of uh, your team. So that's absolutely fantastic. So what according to you is the right mindset one ought to have in order to succeed in their lives, career or any sport? I think the right mindset is to, um, to listen to advice from other people. So yeah, in the beginning I was really also on my own and everything other people told me is like, nah, I know better, I know better. But actually still now, even after you win a lot of prizes, it's always, it's always good to listen to what they have to say. You don't always have to agree, but maybe if people say something, you start to think about it and maybe you find other solutions yourself. So I think that's the right mindset, just to be open for feedback and, and try to, to, yeah, to work with it um, and try to implement things that are for you. Um, and, and yeah, train hard, yeah, but that, that is a logic uh, mindset as well. Absolutely awesome. So uh, what do you want to say to our listeners uh, and young athletes, any inspiring message that you would like to convey? Yeah, like I said, um, just never give up and, and try to pursue your dreams. And uh, if, you, if you do something with, with uh, a lot of passion um, and you work hard, you will get uh, really far. Absolutely, never give up is, is absolutely a wonderful motto and uh, something uh, which actually leads uh, uh, to success if one patiently uh, and uh, you know persistently keep working towards our goals. So that's a wonderful message. Thank you so much. So let's come to the rapid fire questions and these are short answers. Um, so are you ready for that? Yeah, shall we go ahead? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> cool. So how do you keep yourself motivated? Yeah, just imagine, uh, like if there's a next tournament, imagine having the prize in your hands. And for me, if you have like hard physical exercises or you have to, or you don't feel like training hard that day, just think about, okay, imagine yourself lifting a cup or taking a gold medal, imagine it in front of you and then you will run really fast. So that's for me uh, a mindset to, to really get mo uh, stay motivated. Uh, so what has playing hockey taught you? Um, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> um, playing hockey taught me a lot because yeah, it's, it's been part of my yeah, most of my life. Um, but the thing it taught me the most, um, yeah, it's like you cannot do it alone. It's a, it's a team sport. Um, and, and yeah, the, the thing is, yeah, you need 11 players on the field plus, plus all the other players of, uh, of the team to be there. Um, and I think it's really important to, to have a good harmony uh, in the group, good understanding with everyone. Um, and for me, I, I love it when everybody is just direct. So no back talking, just saying what they think. And even if it's something bad, I know what they think of me. Maybe I will change it, maybe not, but then I know. So yeah, for me, honesty is a, is, is a big part. Super. Your mantra for success? Uh, yeah, it's the one I said. It's uh, fall seven times, stand up eight. And it actually means, yeah, never give up. Even if you get, you get uh, knocked down, um, stand back up, uh, fight back and then work harder to, to, to achieve success. Awesome. How do you stay confident? Yeah, it's, it's easy to say, yeah, stay confident if, if everything is going well. Um, 
but I think the team is really important um, to help you with that um, and the coach and the staff uh, even if it, things are maybe not going that good you have always your teammates to support you and, and, and lift you back up so I think yeah that, that's the most important thing uh, to stay confident Best nutrition advice? Uh, best nutrition advice? Um, yeah, for me, it's, it's, it's just important. We know in, in sports, nutrition is really important. Um, but for me, yeah, just just eat healthy. You don't have to do like a, a really strict diet, but just eat the right uh, ingredients at the right time uh, before a game, after a game, before training, during training. And that's, yeah, maybe, yeah, uh, try to look up a, a study about it, when to best eat, when to when to eat what, and, and it can help you a lot. Best exercise for mental training and fitness? Yeah, for me, we, we don't really work uh, with, uh, with a psychologist in, anymore. Um, but for me, I think the best mental exercise were actually the times where I was, where I was not selected. Um, so then I got knocked down. I was sad and think that after a while, if it happens like four, five, six times, you strengthen your mind and like the sixth time it happened, you think, okay, we're here we are again, but you get used to it. And then it's, yeah, you have to have a, have a change of mind to, to, to make it better and, and to be back in the selection. And I think, yeah, there's nothing uh, as a learning curve. Um, yeah, it, as, as real life uh, experiences. So yeah, that's a bit the exercise. Sure. I mean, so it's basically replacing your, you know, negative thoughts with positive ones immediately and uh, self-talk. I think that really yes. helps. That is absolutely wonderful. So uh, your favorite quotation? Um, yeah, the one I gave. Ah, the quote is, is some, some, uh, something someone said. Eh? Um, I don't know who, it's, who said it, but it's um, something about um, it's impossible to climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pocket so it does mean you have to work for it it's it come it doesn't come by itself totally who's your role model and why um i didn't really have a role model in hockey when i was young um but for me yeah one of of the biggest role models is uh is uh, ronaldinho the football player yeah um and why he yeah, he, he's just so good. He enjoys the game, so he plays with passion. Uh, he's not only good at the ball; he works for his team. And for me, it's 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 really important to be uh, yeah to play with passion, um, to be happy to play. Um, because if you don't have the passion to to go for it, yeah, then you can actually better stop. So I think passion is one of the most important things in our sport. Absolutely, documentary film that inspired you the most. Um, the film that inspired me, I actually have two. It's uh, Never Back Down and uh, Warrior. So it's like two uh, mixed martial arts uh, movies. Um, and yeah, Never Back Down, it's, it's, it says itself. In the beginning of the movie, he gets knocked out by his enemy. And then you see he starts training, 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 training. And at the end, I, I will not spoil the end, but yeah, you can imagine what happens. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> awesome. He's better than the other guy. So that's a bit uh, also, yeah, my, my motto. Uh, yeah, when you get knocked down, work harder to, uh, to knock someone else down. So don't be knocked down again. Uh, the best thing about hockey? The best thing about hockey is... The team is, is, is the friends uh, within the team. Um, that's one of the reasons I went for hockey when I was young. It's just so nice to enjoy uh, playing hockey with your teammates than, than to be alone all the time. So yeah, the, the, the friendships within the team. Super. Best hockey memory? Yeah, if I have to choose, yeah, it's probably the, the Olympic uh, golden medal. Um, it was for me a childhood dream to be at the Olympics. So uh, when I was young, I could never imagine actually winning, like, yeah, to become Olympic champion. Um, so that was really uh, one of my best memories. Awesome. Uh, what's your biggest dream? My biggest dream uh, right now is actually to, yeah, to actually go further and to maintain. Um, 
like win every tournament throughout my career. Everybody told us like, yeah, but yeah, you won it already. So now the motivation is gone. But for me, like every every Olympics, every tournament is still yeah to achieve the highest and, and to have a, a really nice career um, with a lot of prizes with the team. That's that's a, that's a dream for me. If I look back after my career that I could say like, okay, I had a successful career and I helped uh, other people play hockey and, and look up to us. Awesome. So you want to become the Ronaldinho of hockey. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Awesome. Super. Uh, most embarrassing moment? Uh, ah, most embarrassing moment. I don't have a lot of embarrassing moments <laughs> that I want to share. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have some embarrassing moments, but they're all off, all <laughs> off the field. So maybe on a hockey pitch, I don't know, actually. It's, uh, okay, we can yeah, skip Yeah, embarrassing, this. it's not embarrassing. It's maybe but that, yeah, when I was young, I had the chance, like with the penalty corner at the last second, um, to score a goal. And I flicked it next to the goal. So oh. that for me, yeah, that for me is... Uh, actually really embarrassing but yeah it's That's, it's part of the game it's if part I of the game at, at absolutely yeah, absolutely yeah. proudest accomplishment so far yeah the same uh the the tokyo olympics yeah maybe the all the three tournaments we won uh in those in that cycle i think uh only one other nation has done it before to win like the the Euro or european world and uh, olympics in one in one cycle so that's a, a really cool accomplish, accomplishment for our team, uh, I think. Awesome. And with this, we come to the end of the show. Thank you so much, Alexander, for joining me in this absolutely fantastic session. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you all for listening to today's episode with your host, Garma Aftar. See you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.